If you want to win some free PSN or Xbox gift cards, all you got to do is be subscribed to my channel, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Also, if you guys want to get your hands on some cheap Master Prestige accounts for any Call of Duty games, check out Digizani. The link will be down in the description and make sure to use code GOBLIN. Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty video. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is a huge update that hit today Call of Duty is having a Days of Summer event, so many patch updates, new weapons, new, new everything basically, and this is for Modern Warfare Remastered, Infinite Warfare, and Black Ops 3. So no matter which Call of Duty game you guys are watching and a big fan of right now, playing, sorry, not watching, a big fan of right now, it's going to have some sort of update. So I'll try to cover everything that I can in this video. It's going to be probably a long one. So if you guys are around for, are you going to stick with me for the ride, drop a like on this thing, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll try to get through all this stuff. Let's go, boys. All right, I'm ready to go. Call of Duty Days of Summer event. So this is just begun today and will run until August 1st, okay? And what this Days of Summer event is, it's different for every single Call of Duty game. So for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, there is now a playable Tourista map or Tourista, I'm not sure how you say that. It's a DLC map that's now playable for everyone. They also have a 24-7 playlist of that, just sort of teasing DLC maps and tempting them up for the new DLC 3 pack, which was, you know, leaked and teased and stuff like that. So it's just like a, a free sample, I guess you could get, say, like when you go to Costco and they got the free samples, that's what they're doing with the DLC. They got one free summer theme supply drop each week by logging into the game every Monday. So every Monday when you log on to Infinite Warfare, similar to the daily bonuses on Monday, it's going to be a special summer theme supply drop. Uh, we're going to have to wait till Monday to see more info about that. They have two free in-game gifts each week by logging in every Wednesday and Friday. So Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, the popular days you're going to want to log in. And they have new limited time weapon camos, emblems, calling cards, and other summer themed items in the loot pool right now in Supply Drop. So some limited edition stuff in Supply Drops, similar to, I guess, what Black Ops 3 did, where they had the limited edition into the Void camos and the St. Patrick's Day uh, Luck of the Irish camo. Now, for Modern Warfare Master Days of Summer event, there's a playable beach bog map so the map bog is there's a beach version of it it's a daytime beachside reimagining of the original bog map now it's not just visual effects they've also changed a few things on the map so it's a pretty cool and i've seen some gameplay of it, it looks really awesome bog was a map that's pretty cool in design and pretty fun to play but it's got those bland colors and making it into a beach bog is a really good idea for the summer they're going to have beach comer prop hunt a brand new beach theme take on the fan favorite prop hunt mode so obviously they had prop hunt before in modern warfare master they're bringing it back i think this comes out on friday if it's not in the game right now there was some confusion on that and that's going to be on the beach bog prop hunt they have one free summer theme supply drop dropping each week by logging out of the game each week so you just have to go on once a week to modern warfare remaster and they're doing the, the summer theme supply drops as well. And they also have new limited edition camos, emblems, calling cards, and other stuff in the loot pool. So that is for Modern Warfare Remastered. Now for Call of Duty Black Ops 3, what they have is their one. It begins on July 11th through to August 1st. So it hasn't begun yet. But for Black Ops 3, what they're going to have for this day's a summer event is they're going to have playable Skyjack, Gauntlet, Rise, and Splash maps. So the DLC is basically going to be free for that five-week period or whatever, or maybe a three-week period. And they're also going to have limited edition camos and other summer-themed items into the uh, loot pool with supply drops. So we're going to have to wait a bit, of, a little bit more for that one because they're starting off with the Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered Days of Summer, and then the Black Ops 3 one kicks in a little bit later. So I'm pretty excited for this. Um, it's pretty vague stuff. We're going to have to see what actually comes of this, but I'm excited for this Days of Summer event. Also, there was a big patch update 1.17 in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare today. What they had is, of course, the Days of Summer event started, Bounties and Zombies, Grandma Knows Best Announcer Pack. So with the voice announcer, there's now a Grandma edition which seems kind of funny it seems like a good idea they also have hero rigs now the warfighter omar merc reyes synaptic ethan ftl salter striker price phantom ghost not really sure much about these i have to log on and you know test some of this out but i'm guessing it's just
just hero gear similar to what black ops 3 had they also say that they have gold diamond solar black sky non-loot progression body and heads for all rigs so they're just updating infinite warfare it's kind of really late in the life cycle to be adding this stuff but some more challenges to and some more motivation to use all different sort of combat rigs like they had in black ops 3 with the gold hero gear i'm guessing there's also three new weapons into call of duty infinite warfare they have the trek 50 which is a single fire ballistic sniper rifle the proteus which is a sniper slash shotgun camo and the m127 which is a lever action shotgun the model it's basically like the model i guess uh they just remodeled the model that's kind of a tongue twister there but those are the new weapons into infinite warfare right now some pretty cool stuff right there another thing with black ops 3 here there's a bunch of stuff and i'm just going all over the place with it if you own the awakening dlc pack number one from black ops 3 which came out well over a year ago and starting july 11th and ending august 1st for the days of summer event you'll get double xp in game so if you have that dlc you'll get double xp for three weeks straight which is something that is good for black ops 3 because like if you're like level 800 or 700 you could literally hit a thousand in that time if you just grind nuketown 24 7. we also have some other breaking news First images and key art from Infinite Warfare DLC 3 Absolution found in the game files. It looks like the maps we're going to have are Ember, Permafrost, 4, Bermuda, and then of course some zombie stuff as well. So this looks pretty cool. I'll show it up on the screen right now. From what I see from this, and I, I haven't really researched it that much, but it looks like 4 is similar to Gauntlet. Remember what they did with that one where it's like three different maps put into one, three different lanes? It looks like they're copying that for Infinite Warfare here. Ember, I've heard some rumors about that being like Resistance from Modern Warfare 3. But this looks like the map pack we're going to get. I don't know if we have a date on this or anything like that. But that's what it looks like for this DLC 3 pack for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Obviously, you guys can let me know what you think about that up on the uh, with the pictures up on the screen. You guys can get your own, form your own opinions off of that. Also, in Modern Warfare Remastered today, we have some new weapons as well. I know new weapons in Modern Warfare Remastered aren't that hype. Usually, it's Black Ops 3 new weapons are super hype. Infinite Warfare new weapons are fairly hyped, and Modern Warfare Remastered ones aren't that hyped at all because basically it's just based off the player base. Black Ops 3 has the biggest player base, then Infinite Warfare and then Modern Warfare Remastered. I'm actually not sure which one has a bigger player base, Modern Warfare Remastered or Infinite Warfare, but I would say it would be safe to bet that Infinite Warfare does. So we got the Bered MK8, a fully automatic with a high rate of fire, effective at medium to long range, a new LMG into Modern Warfare Remastered right there. We also have the Rangers, which are basically the things from Modern Warfare 2. Double-barreled, sawed-off shotguns, effective at close range. They look essentially the exact same as the MW2 Rangers, which are pretty cool shotguns, and those are now into Modern Warfare Remastered. So it's sort of like bringing it back, if you think about it logically, because Modern Warfare Remastered is Call of Duty 4, which is Modern Warfare 1, and these things came out in Modern Warfare 2. So they're bringing them back to Modern Warfare 1. It's kind of crazy how it's 2017 and Modern Warfare 1 is still getting new updates and stuff. And obviously it's Modern Warfare Remastered. But you guys know what I'm trying to say here. And also a new sniper rifle, the S-TAC Aggressor. A bolt-action sniper rifle, effective at a long range. That's what we have into Modern Warfare Remastered. And of course, with these days of summer events, there's also new other stuff into the game right now. There is some new variants. I believe there is a ERAD new nuke variant that's now into infinite warfare there's quite a few new variants because of course when new things come out into, into infinite warfare number one they come with their own new variant so for all three of these new guns in infinite warfare they have their own epic legendary and rare variants which are uh, you know are harder to get but then also there are some new variants that have been put into infinite warfare so if you guys are interested in those i'm not sure all the details on that but there's just so much updates it's hard to keep up with but the main stuff we have to talk about right now just to wrap it all up for you guys Infinite Warfare, new weapons. Modern Warfare Remastered, new weapons. That's right now. Also, the Days of Summer event is taking place in those two games right now. For Black Ops 3, it all starts on July 11th. So, I, I'm not sure why. I, I'm guessing, actually, the reason they're trying to space it out is because Black Ops 3 is so popular. They want people to get off of Black Ops 3 and get on Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered for a little bit to enjoy this Days of Summer before everyone goes on to Black Ops 3 because of July 11th for that Days of Summer event. Of course, they have all the statistics and everything of which player bases are bigger, and this is a big company. All of these, uh, you know, Raven Studios, uh, Raven Software, uh, um, Infinity Ward, 
as well as Treyarch. They're all owned by Activision, or I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if Treyarch is, but I'm pretty sure they all are owned by Activision. So Activision controls it all. So they basically, you know, plan it out and plan out these releases to maximize their profit, maximize their player base, which in turn maximizes their profit. So that's basically how it all works. Some pretty exciting stuff. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are most excited for. Also, be sure to smack that like button, boys. I would really appreciate it if we could hit 2,000 likes for this new update video. It's been a while since I pulled out the Hulk and the thumbnail, boys, for a big update. But this is pretty exciting. If you guys could drop a like on this thing, that would be absolutely awesome. Subscribe for a cookie. And don't looky. And I'm out. Peace. Have a great day, guys.